Hi! Welcome to KMath TV. In this video, I'll show you how to multiply mixed numbers. Okay, let's take a look at the first example. 3 and 1 third times 1 and 1 seventh. In multiplying mixed numbers, the first step is to change the mixed numbers to improper fractions. Okay, let's change 3 and 1 third to improper fraction. Just multiply the denominator and the whole number. 3 times 3 equals 9. Then, add the numerator plus 1. 9 plus 1 equals 10. The new numerator is 10. And copy the denominator, 3. Okay, the mixed number 3 and 1 third is 10 thirds in improper fraction. Let's change also the multiplier to improper fraction. So multiply the denominator and the whole number. 7 times 1 equals 7. Then add the numerator plus 1. 7 plus 1 equals 8. The new numerator is 8. Then, copy the denominator, 7. Okay, we already changed the mixed numbers to improper fractions. Now, the second step is to multiply. Multiply the numerators and multiply also the denominators. Okay, let's answer. Let's multiply 10 times 8 equals 80. And multiply also the denominators. 3 times 7 equals 21. The answer is 80 over 21. This fraction is an improper fraction. The numerator is greater than the denominator. So, we need to simplify it by dividing the numerator by the denominator. If we divide 80 by 21, the quotient is 3 and the remainder is 17. Okay, since there is a remainder, we will write the answer as a mixed number. Let's write the answer. The quotient 3 is the whole number. The remainder 17 is the numerator. The divisor 21 is the denominator. Okay, this is how to write the answer when you express improper fraction to a mixed number. Okay, the answer is 3 and 17 over 21. Next example, 8 and 2 fifths times 9 and 2 sevenths. Okay, let's change each mixed number to improper fraction. To change the mixed number to improper fraction, let's multiply the denominator and the whole number. 5 times 8 equals 40. Then, add the numerator plus 2. 40 plus 2 equals 42. This is the new numerator. Then, copy the denominator, 5. Okay, now let's do the same in the multiplier. So multiply the denominator and the whole number. 7 times 9 equals 63. Then add the numerator plus 2. 63 plus 2 equals 65. Okay, this is the new numerator. And copy the denominator 7. Okay, we're done with the first step. Second step is to multiply. Multiply the numerators and multiply also the denominators. Or use cancellation before multiplying. In cancellation process, we can do cross cancellation or we can cancel the numerator and the denominator of the first fraction and the numerator and the denominator of the second fraction if they have greatest common factor or GCF. Okay, in this problem, we can use cross cancellation. As you can see, 42 
can be divided by 7. So the GCF of 42 and 7 is 7. We will just divide them by 7. Okay, cancel, cancel. 42 divided by 7 equals 6. 7 divided by 7 equals 1. Okay, now look at the denominator 5 and the numerator 65. We can also cancel them because 65 is divisible by 5. The GCF of 5 and 65 is 5. So let's divide them by 5. Cancel, cancel. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. 65 divided by 5 equals 13. Okay, we're done with the cancellation process. So, let's multiply now. Multiply the new numerators and multiply also the new denominators. Okay, let's multiply. 6 times 13 equals 78. Next, multiply also the denominators. 1 times 1 equals 1. The answer is 78 over 1. It is an improper fraction. The numerator is greater than the denominator. So let's simplify it by dividing the numerator by the denominator. And of course, if we divide 78 by 1, the answer is 78. There is no remainder, so the answer is a whole number. This is the final answer. Next, let's multiply 2 and 5 eighths times 5 and 2 thirds. Okay, first step, change the mixed numbers to improper fractions. To write mixed number as an improper fraction, just multiply the denominator and the whole number. 8 times 2 equals 16. Then, add the numerator, plus 5. 16 plus 5 equals 21. Okay, this is the new numerator. Then, copy the denominator, 8. Okay, this is now the multiplicand. Now, let's do the same in the multiplier. Change 5 and 2 thirds to improper fraction. Okay, just multiply the denominator and the whole number. 3 times 5 equals 15. Then, add the numerator. Plus 2. 15 plus 2 equals 17. This is the new numerator. Then, copy the denominator. 3. Okay, we already changed the mixed numbers to improper fractions. Now, let's proceed to the second step, which is to multiply. But in this problem, we can use cancellation. Okay, we can cancel the numerator 21 and the denominator 3. The bigger number 21 is divisible by the smaller number 3. So, the GCF of 21 and 3 is 3. Let's divide them by 3. Then, cancel, cancel. 21 divided by 3 equals 7. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Okay, now 17 and 8 do not have GCF, so we can't cancel them. Okay, let's multiply now. Multiply the numerators. 7 times 17 equals 119. Next, multiply also the denominators. 8 times 1 equals 8. Okay, the answer is 119 eighths. But we can still simplify this fraction because it is an improper fraction. So let's divide the numerator by the denominator. Okay, if we divide 119 by 8, the quotient is 14 and the remainder is 7. Since there is a remainder, we will write the answer as a mixed number. Okay, let's write the answer. 
The answer is 14 and 7 eighths. Last example, let's multiply 12 and 1 half times 7 and 2 tenths. Okay, let's change each mixed number to improper fraction. Multiply the denominator and the whole number. 2 times 12 equals 24. Then add the numerator plus 1. 24 plus 1 equals 25. This is now the new numerator. And copy the denominator 2. Okay, let's write also the multiplier as an improper fraction. So multiply the denominator and the whole number. 10 times 7 equals 70. Then add the numerator plus 2. 70 plus 2 equals 72. And copy the denominator 10. Okay, we already changed the mixed numbers to improper fractions. Next step is to multiply, but in this problem, we can use cancellation before multiplying. Here, we can cancel the numerator 25 and the denominator 10 because they have GCF. Their GCF is 5. So let's divide them by 5. Cancel, cancel. 25 divided by 5 equals 5. 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Then, we can also cancel 72 and 2. We can divide them by their GCF 2. Okay, cancel, cancel. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 72 divided by 2 equals 36. Okay, now look at the numerator of the multiplier. 36 and the denominator is 2. We can still cancel them because 36 can be divided by 2. So let's divide them by 2. That is their GCF. Okay. 36 divided by 2 equals 18. So, cancel 36. Then, 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Cancel 2. Okay, we're done with the cancellation process. Now, let's multiply. Multiply the numerators 5 times 18 equals 90 and multiply also the denominators 1 times 1 equals 1 the answer is 90 over 1 it is an improper fraction so let's simplify it by dividing the numerator by the denominator and of course if we divide 90 by 1 the quotient is 90 there is no remainder. So, the answer is a whole number, 90.